So add-ons are an integral part of World of Warcraft, especially as a DPS warrior or just a general DPS. So let's discuss about it. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning champions and welcome back to another video. And today we're discussing add-ons and the best add-ons that will make you the most efficient player at the game. Before we start, I go live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday and Sunday from 7.30 till 10.30. Do come on out, we play World of Warcraft, doing guild progression, doing mythic plus pushes, doing community events as well, so it's well worth your time. Also, give the channel a like, a comment and a subscribe and let's get on with it. So what are add-ons? Add-ons are something that you literally, you add on to the game to make the experience as a player even better. World of Warcraft has done a lot of things itself as a development team to make the game easier for you to kind of pick up and go. However, add-ons are an integral thing to add to your game to make it that much better and to help kind of tracking what you're doing and knowing you're doing is the right thing. So we're going to go over some of the key ones as a DPS that you should have and I recommend that you have even more so as a Fury Warrior with some specifics that we'll go into in this video and in some future videos. So let's begin. So as a DPS, the first thing that you're going to want to have is details. Details is a damage tracker and it's not just a damage tracker, it does health, it does damage taken, it does tanking ability, it does aggro, it does abilities, it does literally everything. However, as a DPS warrior, this will be able to track your damage per second as well as track your overall damage to a target. It also has massive summary features where you can click in the summary section and have a look at everything that you've done track your time over the boss and see what your abilities have been working best see where you're spiking and seeing how that search marries up this is a key one to have because it means that you can keep track of what you're doing and when people are saying you're not pulling enough dps this will show you that you might not actually be and it helps you keep track of what you're doing if you're seeing your dps is lower than other people as well because you can see other people's dps on this especially people who are the same class as you you can then make adjustments and know what you're doing might not be right and it helps just keep an eye on what you're doing and how your performance is going along with a summary as well giving you an idea of what your raid looks like with this if you tie it in with logs as well which is another thing we'll talk about in another video but if you do things such as raid and dungeon logs you can then keep track of your damage over the entire dungeon and then marry it up with your logs and your positioning and whatnot that's a bit more higher end so we'll talk about that in a future video however details is your key thing to have to manage and track your damage that you're putting out up next we have dbm which is deadly boss mods this is effectively a giant warning system to tell you the right things to do at the right times when you're in raids or in dungeons it has things that tell you to cast interrupts it tells you to move out a line of sight it tells you to get out of a certain location if you're standing in kind of blood on the floor it will warn you about upcoming spells that the boss is about to cast and it will have a list of cooldown timers for what you need to keep an eye out for and if you're a raid leader this helps you keep track of those things if you're just a normal dps then this helps you know what's coming up especially if you can predict an interrupt that needs to be done you can see it timed up this whole thing is fully customizable you can have certain alerts go off and make certain sounds certain colors and you can customize the entire ui for this thing similarly with this there is another one called big Wiz, which is often used by raid leaders because it has really good call out systems and this works in the same way in giving you cooldown timers countdown timers for everything that you need to know about as far as dungeons and raiding concerned a lot of the time i personally forget to do interrupts so this is something that as a warrior especially as a fury warrior who needs to do his interrupts helps me keep track and make sure that i'm interrupting at those perfect times linkedin nicely with this is gtfo and this is auditory cues to tell you when to do certain things mainly when to get out so the way that this is broken down is to in different priority systems so you have your high low and medium and they'll make different sounds depending on the urgency of what you need to do if you're stood in something that's giving you a massive ticking dot it will make a nice loud noise to be like get out of there if you're being hit by aoe from a certain distance and it's not too bad it will do a different kind of sound and it's just nice to have those auditory cues that you necessarily don't have to see on screen things like dbm you need to be looking on your monitor to see what what is flashing up whereas with this one it's just a sound so as soon as you hear that sound you know exactly where you're standing is the wrong place as for your rose we're always standing in the wrong place so get this add-on and then it will help you here when you need to move next up we've got a couple of quality of life ones which are going to be about three or four in one go so we have bartender nameplates and shadow unit frames and these are three that i always have i don't personally like lvi lvi i'll put a screen up now it's quite an intense one it takes a lot of computer power to get lvi working because it changes the entire user interface for world of warcraft whereas nameplates bartender and suf do something similar but at less processing power. These are really good at being able to customize your layout. So shadow unit frames just changes how your nameplates look on the screen. And you can move your nameplate to be right in front of you. So it's down by your character, which is how I have it. And then you can see your enemy there as well. Along with that, you have got nameplates and nameplates just makes it easier to see your enemy from across the map. You have a bigger bar, your dots on top of it are easier to track so you can manage and know what time's left on those. And it makes selecting an enemy out of a crowd of enemies a lot easier because they're bigger and clearer for you to see. And then bartender, 
render is a nice one because it lets you customize the entire UI as far as your bars and your macros and everything is concerned. So you can hide the bars, you can have them at a different opacity, you can have it so they only appear when you hover over it. So you can really clean up your UI and use different things to show triggers on your screen, which is what we're going into next. Next up we have Wii Chorus, and Wii Chorus is an integral key thing to have as a DPS, as anything in this game. And there's so many features. We're going to do an entire video on the best Wii Chorus to have as a Ferrari as a DPS. But we'll go over it quickly now. Basically, Wii Chorus is a fully customizable system which will flash things up on your screen that you want to be flashed up. It could be in damage. It could be when you go into a certain location, it tells you to mount up. It can literally be anything. And I use specific ones if you go on the website called Wagyu. There's tons of pre-made ones that you can import so you can get things such as the Fury Warrior one that I use, which massively helps your rotation. And that's why Wii Chorus is so key because, because of the way it's designed and those flashing warning signs and those triggers that you can make each thing have mean that means you're going to be maintaining your rotation. I use mine a lot to prompt my rotation so I remember to push certain buttons at certain times and not at other times. With the squares lighting up, flashing, doing swirls, not only can you do that but you can also track things such as tactics in bosses. I'll put a link down below for the Castle Nathria one. As well as tracking your interrupts and if you have interrupted, if someone else has interrupted and if yours is on cooldown or not. So it's a very very good at tracking, helping you maintain your rotation rotation and letting you know tactics if you need to know them. And then lastly we have one called Raider.io and there's a bit of controversy around this. Some people hate it, some people love it. I'm personally a big fan but as a person who does Mythic Plus and does raiding and often finds himself going with pugs, Raider.io is a key thing to have because it tracks your score, it makes you known as someone who can do a certain amount of things. The game doesn't actually offer at the moment any way of tracking how good someone is at the game. It has eye level but that's not a true marry of skill. Whereas Raider.io will show you how many times you've done a specific dungeon or raid how many times you've you've done it at a certain level so have you done a plus 15 have you done a plus two have you done five plus fives but only one plus 16 and you can really kind of delve into how skillful a player is oh, sometimes there is the issue with people boosting you however you can use this add-on to see how many times they've done that dungeon specifically at that specific level so it can really help you filter out people not only does this help you with finding players to come into your group but it helps you stand out from the crowd because people will see your raider score and be like there's someone who i want to have in it and if you can keep track of this using this add-on then it's it helps it's massively integral to having it in the game so this was just a brief video to kind of go over those few main add-ons that you should possibly definitely have as a fury warrior or as a dps whilst you're playing world of warcraft because they will one help your quality of life better two they will help kind of make things easier to manage they'll let you know on things that you need to do at certain times of dbm help you track what you need to track and help you maintain that rotation as specifically as a fury warrior and for the fury warriors you're watching rotation is key at the moment because we're so low on our dps so we have to make sure that rotation is key and using something like weak auras and being able to track things on our dps tracker such as details it significantly helps us know what we're doing is right or wrong and that's our video for this week like i said we're going to have future videos on weak auras specifically for your fury warriors that will be integral to your gameplay and helping you be the best but that's for a future video we'll also go into further details about some of the other add-ons as well and we'll do add-on focused videos in the future. If you're interested in that, do comment down below. If there's any add-ons that I haven't mentioned that you use, please do pop them in down below and we can talk about add-ons and what kind of things you have. As always, do give the channel a like, comment and a subscribe. Also catch us live over at twitch.tv forward slash oldschooljrl every Tuesday, Wednesday and Sunday from 7.30 till 10.30 playing World of Warcraft, doing guild progression, doing a lot. Come on out, it's great to have you there. Other than that though guys, we'll see you next Thursday for another video. Bye-bye.